the first few parts of this series, we figured out where to snap that first line, how to work efficiently as a team, and how to measure and install the tricky hip pieces. Now that the roof is decked, we're going to seal it up against windblown rain and hurricane. We'll begin at the bottom with a 6 inch roll, folding the tape over the subfascia. Next, run tape up the rake and fold it over too. Valleys are taped with two overlapping pieces of 6 inch tape. Julio seals the bottom edge of the roof deck, like in Animation Land. Because this shotgun style home in New Orleans has no overhangs, the roof tape is sealed to the weather barrier on the wall. In places prone to ice dams, the building code requires enough peel and stick membrane to reach two feet inside from the outside face of the wall. This usually means more than one strip of membrane. With his paper puller on the ground, Rick places membrane along the eave, working his way into the valley. Being careful not to tear the paper or wrinkle the sheet. Oh, 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 oh. Now, he folds the edge over the fascia. Next, do the roof to wall joints. You can start at the bottom or the top, it doesn't matter. But, make sure to use a 6 inch roll of tape. They fold the tape into the seam and then pull the folded paper back which neatly places the tape over the joint. The chimneys are flashed in the same order as always, bottom first, cut and folded around the corner, and then the sides are applied and folded around the upper and lower corners. The tape is rolled into place with a J-roll. Now they can tape the field with the 4 inch tape. First are the vertical seams between sheets in the first course of decking. Next is the lowest continuous seam running between the first and second row of decking. The second row of vertical seams is next, and so on. So the tape overlaps shingle style all the way up the roof. Finally, seal the hips and ridge with 6 inch tape. And make sure the tape is pressure applied with the J-roll. 